our data logs and what we need to look for in the data and how we can apply it back into our calibration files. So what we're going to be doing here, let's jump back into our uh, AEM data here. I have the log opened. This is going to be a full throttle pull on a supercharged S2000 and it was running in closed loop even at wide open throttle. Now uh, running through the data log here we can see engine RPM here is in the white. We can see that the th uh, uh, throttle here is in blue. It was full throttle. We can see that the yellow is going to be our boost pressure and it was peaking right, or here, right around here at 14 psi. We can see pink is our ignition timing and then the green is our actual lambda or our wideband air fuel. And we can see here at the lower load levels here, right around 2 psi or 3 psi here, we're right around 13 to 1 air fuel. That's acceptable. And as we trace through here, we can see as once we get up into some appreciable boost of 6 pounds and higher here, we can see that the air fuel is relatively straight. It has a relatively straight line and it's hitting right around where we want for our target air fuel. And normally I target right around 11.4, 11.5 air fuel uh, at full throttle condition here in, in boost. And we're going to see it hits that pretty much if we're scrolling through here. We can see looking up at our trace window here, 11.3, 11.5, 11.7, 11.3, 11.6. So it, it, it is having some fluctuation here. And that's going to be partly the sampling speed that we see from this, uh, this onboard log that I've taken here. So this was done with an onboard data log. It has a very high sample rate and uh, it's collecting a lot of data points per second, which is why it's plotting like this and it looks a little choppy, but uh, if you had a slower sampling rate, you'd see it be a much smoother line. Um, and that's just gonna be, again, effect of our sampling rate. So what we can see is it's tracking pretty much to our target perfectly. Now it's doing that because it has a, jump in here, a well-tuned, field table, but it also is using this closed loop O2 feedback right here that we've talked about in a previous video and went through how that works. So if we jump back into our AM data here and we move up into fuel tuning, what we're going to be finding here is we look in our uh, text view, we can see here in this pink color, this is going to be our O2 feedback value and it's going to be trying to hit the target that we programmed here. So if we kind of look through the same trace here, we have our same green line. That's actually our wideband air fuel again, having that same look. And we can see, as we trace through here, this pink line is going to be representing how much correction feedback is going on. So right now, at 3 pounds of boost at 4,600, it's taking out